Hi, welcome to my second Tiburon Unicode uh, video uh, based on a beta version of Delphi uh, Tiburon, the new version of the Code Gear IDE that's going to support the Unicode uh, charter set in full. Uh, in this second example, we will actually see how to create um, a, a program that displays the entire Unicode uh, charter set. Uh, the program has, uh, like in the other version, the previous version showing the first part of the set, uh, a string grid hosting the characters. But there's also a tree view that is filled uh, by the program when it starts simply by grabbing, creating 16 blocks and for each block with this rather complicated code, um, creating 16 sub blocks. So we have 256 blocks of 256 um, characters each. Now, to make things slightly more complicated, we have to consider that not all numeric values in uh, Unicode UTF-16, which is the um, encoding that uh, Delphi supports natively, not all numbers are correct uh, and real characters because there are also some surrogate code points. Uh, there are uh, numeric values that are bound together to make, uh, to, to um, describe an extended uh, character. So I'm only going to show the basic plane of Unicode, the initial part, uh, skipping the surrogate code point. So what happens if we run this program? On this side here, you can see different sections, uh, not logical sections, but numerical based sections of the Unicode uh, character sets. And we can expand each of these sections like the first one and this is what the other program, the previous program uh, in video one could display. But now we can go over and see far more interesting and special characters and we can go over and again and I'm changing again values. We get some, some very, very interesting ones and over and over and over and over. Uh, there are some characters that don't have visual representation. Either they don't have it or they don't have it in Windows. There are spaces and so on. And then we can go further, open another group. And I don't know to which language we are here and more groups. And this looks extended Greek characters. And we can keep going, and of course, we get a large number of Chinese and Japanese characters. These are countless and countless. And so you can see that Delphi fully supports uh, Unicode because you can get all of these very nice characters inside a simple DB grid. And again, and again. And again, like we can really go on forever because there are 250 of these pages. And then as we get towards the end, we get to areas that are not displayed properly and we get to areas where we get surrogate points. But there are some more at the end that we can actually see this group here this 64,000 in the beginning, these special ligatures and special symbols. And again, so when I'll make this program available, you'll be able just to use it to browse easily and visually the entire uh, Unicode set. Oh, these are the nice ones. It's very special symbols. All of the numbers within rounded elements, graphical elements, there are plenty of graphical symbols, the weather forecast symbols, sun, 
cloudy, umbrella, stars, and a bunch of other very, very nice symbols, including the recycling symbols, notes, and many, many more. So Unicode has a lot of interesting extra features that you can add to your Delphi programs um, when the new Tiburon gets released. And that was uh, for the second video. Oh, oh you, you want to see the source code? Sure, sure. Source code is actually quite simple because every time I click on the string grid, if I go to the tree view event, all I have to do is to figure out the beginning of the current block and then all I have to do is simply add to the cells of the string grid the corresponding character. That's all. Nothing more than that and quite straightforward. Okay, that was all for the second Tiburon Unicode video. Bye!